Sheila, or whatever you call yourself, Israel's ex wife, or Yao Yao wife. If you say ex wife, I'll say, man, you will uh, say, you feel a better person. You'll be Yao Yao wife. I join Israel to lay cause on you. Hello beautiful souls, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. So guys, before I let you watch this video, before you continue with this video, I would like to give my two cents concerning the ongoing saga between David Doe's aid, Israel, and his wife. If you have been active online for some days now, you must have come across the dragging and this the whole saga between Israel's um Israel and his wife, Sheila. And guys, the, the whole thing is really surprising because these two looked like a happy couple. Their wedding took place last year, October 2022, and it's it's not even up to it wasn't up to a year before they separated before Sheila left her matrimonial home and it's really surprising like I said because their wedding was the talk of the town last year it was so sophisticated it was magnificent it was attended by the high and the mighty David was there in fact the wedding was the talk of the town last year and it's so surprising that that wedding that marriage did not even last for up to a year before controversies started coming in that's why i always say it's not always about the wedding because people often believe that the moment you have a big wedding when your wedding is big then it's uh, it's certain that the marriage will be successful that's not true the marriage is completely different from the wedding and the marriage actually starts after the wedding when the couples are home alone that's when the marriage starts okay so the big wedding doesn't really uh, mean that the marriage will be successful like in this case in fact this case is becoming so messy and i don't even understand it anymore so israel met his wife during evangelism apparently the wife is a daughter of a pastor and um the man met her during an evangelism when she was trying to win souls for Christ. So they became friends and from there, somehow, somehow they became close and the lady actually won his heart, not just his soul, according to what she even posted during their wedding preparations. So they became really close and they decided to get married. It was a very short period of time, like they didn't cut for so long. They met around February and got married around October. It was not a very long time to really understand understand um, themselves actually so they got married and it was a perfect marriage like i said perfect wedding i mean like i said it was so good so beautiful so magnificent and all of that i would believe they were doing well they were living fine until august 2023 we had rumors that the lady um sheila left her marriage left her matrimonial home they didn't really come out to make it clear like we didn't know what happened it wasn't clear how or why she left her marriage but we heard that she left her marriage so recently just while we were still trying to cope with other social media dramas israel davido's logistic manager made a very long post on his instagram page addressing um the reason his wife left his home and in that post the post is so long i cannot read it all because it's really long it's going to take a lot of time to finish up with the post in that post he said that marrying getting married to a virgin does not guarantee a successful marriage or getting married to a pastor's wife does not guarantee a peaceful marriage so he went further to explain that Sheila tricked him into marrying her using her virginity and using her religion that Sheila never loved him that she only wanted fame and she knew she could only get that by getting married to him and uh, she started trying to stop him from um, being close to David Doe or stop him from being loyal to David Doe he said she would even sneak into David Doe's um, DM just to tarnish his image and just to try to destroy or spoil his relationship with David o. Sheila also made a post ranting and responding to the dragon and in the post she also revealed her own side of the story why she left the marriage according to her she was going through a lot in that home in the marriage and she couldn't take it anymore especially with the fact that the husband never trusted her they had trust issues in the marriage that the husband never trusted her and the husband felt that she was taking pills in order not to get pregnant which was not true she said she was even forced to 
to go to the hospital to take tests to prove to the husband that she wasn't taking pills and even after everything came out that she wasn't taking pills the man still did not trust her and it went um things got worse for her so she went for that to explain that they had trust issues that the man never allowed her to you know go out even to make her hair or to go for anything for party or to even visit friends the man never allowed her to do any of this that whenever she that there was even a time she went to make her hair and this man sent her a text message not to return to his house that he was always doing that he was always asking her not to come back to the house whenever she's not at home whenever she goes out that he would send a test that she shouldn't dare come back to the house that the first time he did it she came back to the house believing that he was just joking about it but she found out that it was serious when the, the security man refused to allow her into the compound that he said he's under instruction not to let her in hit her and lock her up at every little provocation and that the abuse was too much and then she also said that let me read this part where she said my decision was an accumulated one abusing me is one thing but extending it to my parents is a whole different thing entirely so guys for the fact the truth is that this whole thing is not just about the girl israel davido's aid was also you know bringing in the, her family especially her mother into this whole drama there was a place where he even called the mother some names that i don't want to mention here and i was really pissed off when i saw that i was like even if you have problems or issues with your wife why must you extend it to the mother or to her family it so one thing I don't even like about this whole thing is the fact that Israel did not just drag this lady. He also dragged the family, especially the mother, calling her names and saying that she got married to two other men uh, with two children before marrying the, um, Sheila's father and that she is, in fact, a lot of things. Guys, that's unacceptable. And mind you guys, this lady is a virgin. Israel met this lady as a virgin like as a tear robber and now he's coming up with the narratives that she used her virginity and her christianity to trick him into getting married to him and that's not even it this um, video i'm going to be playing here is a video of his friend his close friend apparently who has something to say about this whole drama this whole thing and guys i just want you to listen to what this friend had to say and tell me what you think in the comment section tell me what you feel about this whole saga no i know you sheila you remember this face me, you, Israel, we're always chilling at uh, this place, Tavan, all the best place for Benin. Yeah, Israel, me, you, a very few friends Israel get for Benin. And I think one of them. That dude was ready to settle down and have a future with you. Sheila use virginity at church level to package Israel. Deceive the guy. You, the favor you look for, should be don't get him. Don't get him, Abi. Don't pop around. Vanguard punch. Everybody reports you. This is what you are desperately craving for. 